G'day everyone, I'm Wayne from Land and Bay Fishing. Welcome to another video. This one's going to be a Maps and Spots video. We're going to cover the area that starts at Brighton, goes around through Sandgate and finishes at Shawncliffe. So the actual waterways are Mountain Pine River, Bramble Bay and Cabbage Tree Creek. Also, it's home of one of my favourite little tackle shops, Tackle Land. G'day Mark. If you're uh, struggling to find a place to fish, have a chat to the boys in there and they'll, they'll put you in the right spot. So let's start with Brighton. Just as you get to Brighton, uh, before you get onto the bridge that crosses over to Redcliffe on the western side, you'll see a park there that's called Brighton Park. You can park in there and that's a great little spot there. I love fishing in the mornings around that high tide mark. So if you get a high tide between say 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock, you can go there and try out your surface fishing. Low tide, you'll see from these videos that I'm showing now, low tide it's all sandbank you can walk right out there and fish in the channel for your uh, flathead but at high tide you can stay up on the rocks and use small surface lures and you'll find a feed of brim there on the surface mostly because it's quite shallow and the brim come right in there as, to feed on that structure as you can see around um, through that area there's a lot of structure so the brim coming close is about a foot and a half to two foot of water and your surface lures will work very well using a little top water bait today a little white popper So we've got pretty crappy weather at the moment. We've had 20 knots pretty much every day. First thing in the morning is always the best time to uh, av avoid that crappy weather. Yeah, the best place would be on the Brighton side of where I live, it, um, where I'm casting with the wind. Nice brim of about 28.30 on a little white popper. So moving from the western side of the bridge over to the eastern side of the bridge you'll see these little rock groins, there's quite a lot of them, it's probably 14-15 rock groins that are spaced about 40 metres apart, maybe not quite that far, 30 metres apart. You can fish on all of these rock groins, they, they work very well so even on a high tide you can still use them to walk out, you might get your feet a little bit wet but they're quite good, they're quite sturdy, they're not going to crumble away and they're not that slippery so wear the appropriate footwear walk out and you can fish for flathead and brim off these little rock groins. to start. It's about the fifth cast for the day. It does feel a little bit like flooded so I'll start moving in towards the shallow. Ah, it's a little brim. You can see there a little uh, 27 centimetre brim, maybe 25 to 27, just legal. I've been letting this one go. It's taking the Z-Man three and a half inch grub with quite a big hook. That's a uh, I want to... Okay, this clip here you can see I've got a ring around there and it says hole. At the end of the day there is a hole here. It's not a deep hole, but it is a hole compared to the rest of the flats that surround it. Right dead low tide, it still holds about foot, foot and a half of water. And if you look closely, especially through the winter time when it's nice and clear, you'll see an absolute mirror of fish. There's brim, whiting, there's all sorts of little fish in that, in that hole at low tide and they stay there pretty much all the way through. Come high tide, all the big fish push in and they feed on the smaller fish and they feed on that structure that's all around this little hole. This one's right next to the pool, so if you find the pool, you'll see the little hole. Best to have a look at low tide, work out where you're gonna fish and how you're gonna fish it, and, um, and then come back at high tide. Top probably four hours of the tide, especially on a, a, a big tide. So the three days either side of a new or a full moon, are probably what's best in this location. Now moving a little bit closer to the jetty, still on the northern side of the Shawncliffe jetty there, there's a pathway that walks from the jetty all the way around into um, Flinders Parade at Sandgate. Well that pathway in front there holds a lot of good structure and is just a great spot for brim fishing through the, uh, the upper or the higher tides. So top half of the tide, so top five, six hours of the tide, the brim do push in there 
Again, it's a good spot to go surface fishing if the wind's in the right direction. Sean Cliff Jetty is a very good spot, especially if you've got a young family and you want to catch small fish. You, you'll get your gar, get your squid, get your brim. You, if you're into shark fishing, you'll catch shark out of, off the uh, the end there. Middle of winter, you'll find the tail run through it. Quite a good jetty to fish off. I'm not one for jetties, but um, if you have got a family, great place to take your family. Good parking there beside the jetty and facilities there as well. Between the Shorncliffe Jetty and Baxter's Jetty, there's a really good rough area of ground there that is accessible uh, land base. So you can use the paths that are closest to the, the Shorncliffe Jetty, but you can go around and park in the uh, little car park there next to Baxter's Jetty, and then walk on the path to the, uh, to the north and, and fish that structure through there. Absolutely great spot to fish, land based for brim. Baxter's Jetty is always a good spot at low tide. You can reach the channel at low tide on Baxter's Jetty and all the fish that push up and feed on all that structure at the high tide all sit in the, uh, in the um, channel there at low tide and, uh, and just wait for the next tide. So Baxter's Jetty at low tide, fish in the channel and you'll find yourself a feed there. The western side of Baxter's Jetty, you'll see this area that I've marked in here. This area is a great little spot to wade out a little bit just like the uh, the video you, uh, you're about to see or the pictures you're about to see and and fish for your brim and your flathead. You will get good flathead through the mouth of uh, Cabbage Street Creek. So moving a little bit further west in Shorncliffe you get to the boat ramp, very good facilities, great little spot for bait collection, throw your cast net there you will get bait. Um, you occasionally get prawns in there, great little spot to fish for your brim and your flathead and excellent spot to put your boat in and either fish cabbage tree or take it out into the bay. On the western side of the boat ramp you'll find a, um, a it's a dirt road just to the other side of the car park that you can actually access via vehicle from the car park. You have to drive out of the car park and drive into its own driveway and that comes around. There used to be a lot of uh, trawlers moored in there but there's not so many anymore. You can drive in there and you've got lots of little family friendly bank areas to, uh, to fish for your brim and your flathead. Or if you're mobile, you chase your flathead with your soft plastics right across Cabbage Tree Creek, drag it back and just keep moving along until you find your patch of flathead. Great little spot for families, great little spot if you're the keen fisher. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the like button if you've got something out of it and I'll catch you on the next one.